morning and welcome to Trail Grazers where we focus on foods on the trail. And as you can see, we are on the trail. We are here at beautiful Bryce Canyon National Park in Southern Utah. And guess who is with us? John and Cindy. In fact, we are standing right in the yard where their trailer is. It's about a three minute walk from where our trailer is parked. And we are going to be doing two videos that will go on trail grazers from Bryce Canyon. This one is all about cooking off grid on a flat top or better known as a griddle. And John's griddle pulls right out from his trailer. We'll see that in just a moment. And we will be doing three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they will all three be up here at John and Cindy's trailer. And then at a later date, we will publish Jim's video down at our trailer where he is doing three meals on our tabletop Traeger. So I want to show you John and Cindy's aprons. <laughs> so here they are. And Cindy, of course, made her apron. Cindy, show us the underside. And it's reversible. Woohoo! <laughs> down home cooking when I put this apron on. All right. And I just say, go dogs. <laughs> okay, Georgia Bulldogs. Yes, John is a huge fan. Um, John, what's for breakfast today? Today we're going to have stack ups. It's a hash brown patty with ham slices and then with an mm -hmm. egg on top. So it should be pretty yummy. Okay, and they have figured out three fantastic meals that we're, we'll be doing on the griddle. Cindy? Yes, this is just a way to make John do the cooking. <laughs> no. Yay! No. He loves it and he's Cindy's, very good at it. No, he's... Cindy's made the fruit salad. She's made biscuits. She has cinnamon rolls. I mean, no. I. But John no. is a fabulous breakfast cook. I do get a kick out of it. <laughs> okay, so here's the griddle. And you have a little refrigerator off to the side. This yes. is a very cool outdoor kitchen. Yes. Yep, just to have sodas. Yep, just uh Okay, what are you starting with here? Okay, so we're gonna put on the frozen hash browns and you keep them in the freezer until get-go time. And then, you know, depending upon how healthy you wanna be, you can just kind of put them right on and toast them. But who wants a toasted one where you can have a fried one? So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in there. Not a whole lot, maybe that is a whole lot. And spread that around a little bit, make sure it gets good and hot. And I think that's plenty of, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna cook six of them, and then I'm going to, uh, as far as the stack ups, and then I will also just cook some hash browns for hash brown's sake. After I get these guys going, so we're gonna get those fellas going, and then we're gonna, you know, just brown up the ham. This is a ham that's been sliced in uh, for this very purpose, and then we'll cook up some eggs. Then we'll stack them up. That's All why right, call that stack sounds ups. great. We'll come back when you're farther along. Thank you. Wow, looks gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. We're, we toasted up the patties, and now we're just going to flavor up the ham a little bit. And you just brown it up a little bit on the griddle. Going to flip the eggs over here in a second, so we can cook those yolks for just a little bit. I broke all of the yolks. You don't want to bite into one of these stack ups and have yolk squirt all over you. That would be no yolk at all. So, <laughs> Is that a Georgia joke? Uh, that's a dad joke. Yeah, <laughs> a, a bad dad joke. And what were you saying about cooking for four people? Cooking for four is a lot more difficult than cooking for two. <laughs> Boy, your trailer next door is making a noise. Yeah. What a beautiful spread this is. Homemade biscuits in the trailer oven, fruit salad, the stack ups and biscuits. And over here are cinnamon rolls that Cindy, Cindy, tell the story of the cinnamon rolls. Well, I needed cinnamon rolls for Mother's Day and I only like my own. So I made my batch of cinnamon rolls and John fed me about four and he had a <laughs> few. And then we froze the rest for camping in Lake Powell. And John also cooked up some bacon oh, today. Oh, nice. Okay, so I just have to taste one of these. Oh, God. How's it taste? It's wonderful. Oh, good, good. Beautiful blend of breakfast flavors. So this is fantastic. So next up is lunch. Yeah, this is Jim, and we are at John and Cindy's place, and we are here for lunch. 
and John is going to go ahead and make the corn dog flats for us. John, can you give us some more information on that? Yes, sir. I'm going to brown up the hot dogs, which is the first part of making Cindy's world famous corn dog flats. It's a corn dog in a flat form, and they are delicious. Oh, they're so fun. I mean, I love corn dogs anyways, but these are just added yumminess. So we'll, we'll grill these for a little bit, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. You tell me when the flavor's good and you've got some good edges and I'll give you the cornbread. Okay, batter. until I and get it's some. it's a honey cornbread batter that makes ooh, it really yummy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Honey cornbread batter. Oh, honey, honey, you. honey, honey, you need to come back. Honey, these, this is your world famous well, recipe. You're, you're doing no, yeah, but you're so good at this. We're adding the hot dogs to the batter, stirring the batter together. Honey, this will be just yummy. the right amount. Yummy, okay. yummy, yummy. Then I would just do... Oh, do you want to put them on? Sure. You're, you're probably better. Just avoid this area right here. Avoid so kind of center. go around, yeah, avoid the center. Oh, those look so interesting. And because they are a cornbread batter, they take a few minutes to cook, unlike pancakes that are fast. So John, move in closer to see okay. so we can hear you. Good. Yummy, yummy. Cindy, how... Cindy, how did you come <laughs> up with this recipe? Well, thank you, Pam. In trying to think of griddle lunch ideas and I don't know, we went to a fair or something. It just, corn dogs is a fun food. So this is a good picnic outdoor and a griddle meal. And I think it'll be just fun. How's that? That's beautiful. Beautiful. We have seven of them. And so three for me and, and <laughs> one for, well, two for Jim and one for each of you ladies. Is that, that works for me. a fair yeah, distribution? This is, this is starting to cook up. The right way to eat a corn dog is you put a puddle of ketchup on your plate and then you put a bullseye of mustard in the middle and then you dip, getting both ketchup and mustard. And even though Cindy's the originator of the recipe and so she should be able to copyright how you eat them, this is how you really eat them. <laughs> Brown, spicy, mustard. Good little squirt right there, and just dip that guy down in it, slather it up good, and um, um. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I think? Oh, those are wonderful. Tastes like a corn dog. Mm-hmm. Feel like I'm at the fair. On the griddle. Kind of like the fair, huh? Healthier than frying. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just like a corn dog. <laughs> These are aren't, great. Aren't they great? <laughs> Perfect for camping. It's a, it's a mm. two dimension <laughs> corn dog instead of a three dimension. Mm. Mm. Okay, we ready? All right. Next up is dinner. It is nice. I can see why you guys yeah, like it. So we are here at John and Cindy's trailer, their little camp. And there's John. He just waved hello, hello. Hand. How are you? <laughs> and here's Cindy. Hello, hello. Have a whole pile of veggies going there. John, talk to us. What are you doing? Let's see. Just gonna uh, kind of saute the peppers and onions to get it going before we put on the meat. Uh, it always takes a little bit longer for these peppers to you know get a little tender before you add the meat to get the fajitas really cranking. And so we'll get these guys sizzling here. Give them about uh, three or four minutes. Flip them over, and then we'll put the meat on over here and brown it up a little bit. Uh, Cindy wants to keep the veggies separate from the meat, and then we'll mix them on the tortilla. So yummy, yummy. Yes, okay. We'll be back when you're getting ready to put the meat on. Can you hear the sizzle? Sizzling, sizzling. Oh, man. And I love the smell, the aroma, too, I should call it. Look at this wonderful meat that Cindy has prepared. What is it, Cindy? Well, this is chicken breast, and this is steak. And uh, the instructions here today told me that it, this was a Southwest fast food. There's nothing fast except the cooking. At the very end, <laughs> after you've cut everything and cut and marinated everything well ahead of time, <laughs> then, then it's fast food. And look at this beautiful campsite. They're up here in the trees. 
we're kind of down in the flats. It is beautiful. And and this the blue sky is coming. Yes, we've had thunder all afternoon. Here goes the meat. Little chicken there. A little thunder there. A little thunder. Yeah, the meat, as soon as you Hi. cut it, honey, it's gonna. Hi, how you doing? It's gonna cook real fast, I think. But the veggies take a good while. Certainly the veggies are ready. And then I think we'll just kind of hit the meat another second or two and maybe bask it in this wonderful juice. And then um, then I think we're ready to chow down. Okay, wonderful. looks good. I'll bring you a dish. Pretty, pretty. So we are sitting at the table and I'm just gonna go, do the go round so you can see everybody's fajita. So here is mine and there's Jim's. Here. Cindy's. And I'm afraid my, mine might have to be an open face fajita because I don't think I can close it. And Pam has saved the best for last. This is an award-winning fajita. Steak and chicken, right? Just steak. Just steak. First Just one. red meat. <laughs> All right, so we're going to enjoy our meal. We are here back up at, at uh, Cindy and John's trailer for the dessert that we didn't have last night with the fajitas. So this is a continuation of that meal. So Cindy, tell us what you're doing. Thank you, I have a sweet tooth. Every meal has to have a dessert. And this is going to be a griddle turnover. Tonight's flavor is cherry. I'm working with phyllo dough or puff pastry, whichever term you please. And I roll out the dough with John's mother's rolling pin. Two ingredients. Purchased puff pastry sheets and pie filling. If we had any almond extract, I would doctor it up with a little bit of almond extract. Rolling it thinner to make, thank you Jim, to make it cook a little faster on the griddle. We've also done this with apple. I want to try blueberry. Ooh, yum. And with camping, the um, purchased pie filling is so convenient. No. So one can of pie filling does how many turnovers? I think we'll get at least these eight. It's the puff pastry that limits the quantity. or something like that. Right behind those. you, Jim, up in the cupboard. Oh, this is the best one. This has five cherries. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go check on the griddle. Oh. John, how do you do these? Well, basically you get the grill good and hot, you know, maybe 350, 375, and then you put them, I like to put them side to side so I can put the dome on top. I don't know if the dome really has much of an effect, but it makes me feel better <laughs> thinking that I'm baking them using the dome rather than just <laughs> laying them on a griddle and hoping for the best. So what do so, you look for to know that they are done? Um, you, they kind of tell you, oh yeah, that, that did help, didn't it? Uh, the look and the smell, um, I think these may be a little too hot. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. Oh, yep, a little too hot there. And so I'm gonna move them over to the side. And uh, this, this middle one is always just a little too warm. So then I'm gonna scoot these over a little bit and dome them up. You made them. Oh, you yeah. baked them. <laughs> so here we are about to enjoy our first bite of this luscious dessert. They saved the red plate for me. And here's Jim. 
Okay. Let's see okay. what they do. Hopefully we won't burn the us. roof of our mouth yes, with a hot burn filling. Yourselves. Mm. Oh, that's oh. oh, fabulous. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun. Oh, that's good. That's very good. What do you think, Jim? I think it's pretty good. Very good. Very nice. Yeah, me and my hat. <laughs> <laughs> so this concludes our video on the three meals on a flat top. So thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you very soon with our next video.